Yo, what up, what up? It's your boy C's from the C'sLife.com. Man, I'm just, I've just been fighting this crazy throat infection for the entire weekend. It's something about having a one-year-old man. He goes to daycare, has tons of fun, collect all the germs. Then when you're playing with him, he rubs it all in your face. Now I got to deal with it. Besides that, side tangent, today's video we're going to be talking about selecting your own niche. We're going to be calling it niche from now on because it sounds awesome, pretentious, and also it sounds like I know what I'm talking about. Any who, um, when it comes to selecting your own niche, let's break down what niche is. Niche is basically a need in the market. There's a group of people and audience that are actively searching for a solution to their problems. Now, as a personal trainer, what we do is create transformational experience for our clients through health and fitness practices. What we often do is we do this with so much repetition, we take the solutions and we put them on a back burner and forget about it. We do this in our sleep and we forget there's a market actively seeking the solution to their problems, right? Now, instead of us putting it on the shelf, we need to take the solutions that we created for our clients, dust them off and create content around that solution and present it to the market so that it'll create a transformational experience for themselves. Now, personal trainers or even internet marketers, especially the ones that are struggling to get started is they're often looking for the niche that's going to get them the most money. And instead of focusing on the audience itself, because if you help somebody solve a problem, they will empty out their pockets for you. Because sometimes those solutions might be small to you, but a big pain point for that individual. Like one of the things that I helped a ton of my clients achieve is losing 20 pounds of fat and also helping them restore their posture. Now, this is something that I excel at and I just thought it was nothing. But there is a group of people who have lower back pain due to um, kyphotic posture or lower cross syndrome as well and they're actively seeking the uh, solutions to their problem. So what I'm going to do, or what I'm actively doing, is presenting my content in a way to help them solve that problem, right? And everything overlaps, right? Because posture can directly affect how much weight you're gaining as well. Not only diet, so there are people who excel at posture and there are people who excel at diet but you know that's where you can blend your solution and make them all fit into one whole right so instead of you just actively seeking what is the niche that's making the most amount of income in the uh, fitness space focus on the solution that you've already created um, for your clients and present it in a way to the market. And then this is where you're able to meet people at scale, right? Because the more people are um, resolving their problem with your solution, the more reach that you get, you know, and people always come back to the source, but you have to be that source. You have to be that individual, that leader to go first and present it in a way where they can understand it and um, create that transformational experience for themselves. Some people want to go deeper, right, with one-on-one -on -one coaching. Some people will just consume your, your, your content. You have to be fine with it either way, all right? Do what you love and, you know, it, all the results will come easy. I know it's easier said than done, but first step is realizing this taking action on it and see see what happens. Do your own research, come to your own conclusion. All I can do is present these facts from the journey and uh, let you take the reins from there. Anyway, hopefully that helps. If you have any more questions regarding niche selection, niche selection, <laughs> hit me up in the comments, like this video, share this video, and subscribe. Peace.